Hey guys, so today we'll be going through how you can install the Noctua 92mm fan onto the Dell G5 model 5090 and as you can see here again mine is already installed but I'll go through the steps that how you can install yours and also the rear fan stock fan that's already installed at the back you can reuse that and use it for the front so initially my specs for my Dell G5 had a mechanical hard drive which is now sitting here that I've taken out so this was attached to the front here and it was held on by a screw as you can see right there so let's just unscrew that and you can just pull that out and make sure you unplug the connections from here and you should be good to go so that's if you take that out I never used it I just replaced mine with a uh, I upgraded my storage and I'll go through that in the next video as well but once you've unplugged it then you can um, you have space at the front to put the stock fan the rear stock fan there but how you install the back fan here very simple first of all you want to be taking this out from there and how you take out a fan is um, you've got these rubber mounts here so I just released it so as you can see these rubber mounts so you release that and now it's empty it's loose and you want to just pull your fan just like so just slowly a bit of pressure and it should come off so just give a bit more pressure slowly over time and because it's held onto the back by these ones it won't come off but it will come through this hole and then it will get released and once you do that with all four um, sides the four corners then your fan will be released just be careful and so you don't uh, hit your hand over here it's a bit tight at the back as well so it takes a bit of work um, but uh, if you've got a tight space but you should be able to do it easily and once I've done that I took out the rear fan that was this one and then I replaced it um, so the rear fans were stuck on top of um, these holes here I replaced it so then it's uh, the 92 millimeter fan because the other one this is rear the stock fan is 80 mil so I was using these holes and then you can use the next holes across for your other fan and it's very simple to, if you're installing a fan very similar process to what I just described before you just want to first of all clip on your guards and what that means is you push the guard uh, the rubber mounts sorry through the hole and onto the other side and then you just pull it as hard as you can until that's fitted and once that's fitted then you apply the same process to fitting on the new Noctua fan onto there so and that's the process which you need to do to install and mount the fan so similarly how I did it how I used the fan for the back is how I installed it first of all mounted is there are these clips first of all that you need to take out for the front part so oh, you can do that very easily just by letting loose of these clips so each one and once that lets loose then you can just push this slowly and as you can see now it's come off all right so there you go the front plastic part has come off and you will have plenty of holes here as you can see mine's already collecting dust so you clean that every once in a while but I used the holes there's plenty of holes you can use for the 80 millimeter fan that you got from the back but yeah so use these holes at the top and I used uh, these holes here and as you can see I did not fully pull the rubber mounts to where they should be sitting at but it's still good enough for me to do the job and that will mean that I can pull it from the other side while I'm mounting the fan and if I pull it too hard then it's go it might break these uh, wires but you should be good so once you've done that then that's set up and then the fan splitter is a very simple process as well if you've never done it before you have your uh, you've got the fan socket for this motherboard right there and if I there you go fan sys all right so you 
this uh, fan splitter came with the Noctua so the Noctua which I bought came with the fan splitter included which was really nice and as you can see here so number one is just an extender number two is a fan splitter and number three is a low noise adapter I did not use the low noise adapter myself I just used number one and number two which came with this so that's it so as you can see there's number the fan splitter first and then that connects one part connects directly to the Noctua for the rear and the second part connects through the extender which I did some cable management went it through the back bring it here and this colored wire right here is connected to the extender and onto the fan so that's how I did mine and it sets up and you'll be good to go so it will be powered both the fans and you have a better cooling system with airflow coming through right from the front through the CPU and out to the back and that's the configuration that's worked best for me and it's kept both the CPU and GPU cool as well so thank you for listening and see you next time